Okay, let's start with the big kahuna, which is NAD. NAD is a chemical in the body. We have a lot of it. We have grams of it in our body. And it's used for chemical reactions. And without it, we're dead in 30 seconds or less. It's like taking cyanide, you're dead. So NAD moves hydrogen atoms from one chemical to another in the body. Mm -hmm. actually called a hydrogen donor. It's like a carrier. And hydrogens are important. They're just with carbons and hydrogens, we can make a lot of molecules. And so what NAD is, is used, so en an enzyme is a protein that makes other chemicals. And so it might say, hey, I need a hydrogen for my favorite molecule that I'm going to build. It's like building blocks. And along comes NAD, but it'll carry an H, a hydrogen, and it's called NADH. So NADH comes along, it'll attach the enzyme. The enzyme will say, thank you very much for that hydrogen. And it'll be moved onto the chemical of interest and off goes the new form of the chemical. Now that enzyme's very happy because now it's done what it's meant to do. But it actually is doing that probably 5,000 times a second. It's a really big, uh, fast reaction. And then NAD itself gets recycled and made back into NADH. So it's a, it's a cycle. But what we discovered um, well, some of us discovered, I was just one of them, is that NAD itself isn't just used for these chemical reactions. That was discovered a, over 100 years ago by some Germans. What it's actually also doing is that the body uses it as a measure of adversity. And when there's adversity, not enough energy, too much exercise or any exercise, really, hot, cold, it appears that NAD levels uh, will uh, will increase in as a result and that is beneficial that turns on the body's defenses and so as we get older we lose nad we don't make as much and we degrade it in fact and so a 20 year old will have double the amounts of someone like me who's in their um, mid 30s maybe uh on a good day biologically um i'm actually 52 but i, I probably have if i didn't supplement with nmn i would have half the levels of a 20 year old which is bad because now the sirtuins the defense enzymes um, and repair enzymes there's one called parp they don't work as well and we're, we succumb to aging mm -hmm. and there's another thing that that nad does and it protects uh and stores the information to be young and information is important for preserving our youth and the way genes are turned on and off is lost over time. Genes get dysregulated. Uh, it's like a scratched compact disc, if you remember what a compact disc is. Um, and, and NAD levels, high NAD levels, preserve that information uh, until we figure out a way to actually reset the system and get those scratches off. So that's NAD. But if, if to make NAD, you, the cell uses NMN, which is nicotinamide mononucleotide, which can buy as a supplement. And then to make the cell makes NMN from NR. And the cell makes NR from vitamin B3. So you can take any one of those and raise NAD levels. But what we've discovered um, in people, in clinical trials, is that the closer you get to the NAD itself, the better the boost in NAD that you get. But you can't take NAD itself because it's a very big molecule and it doesn't get in through the membrane of the cells. So NMN does that. And what we will report but I'll tell you live now, is that if you take or if we give a gram to our subjects, human subjects, for 10 days, they will double their NAD levels in their blood cells. Um, and in fact, if you give two grams, you triple it. Now, so I take a gram a day to double my levels to get me back to being a 20-year-old in the expectation and somewhat hope that uh, my body is now defending itself against aging. Mm -hmm.